Hey y'all, welcome back to Mental Health Convos and Convos for Elevation. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. You will learn a lot of different ways to manage your life and mental health here on this channel. Today's video is one that I love the most. It's about three hacks to afford life when you're broke or on a tight budget. Before we get into the video, today's video is sponsored by Sage and Sunlight Boutique. They have the cutest crystal jewelry, so make sure you stop by at www.sageandsunlight.com. Right now, they're giving a discount and it's free shipping, so y'all make sure y'all check it out, okay? Raise your vibration, protect your energy, look good, feel good. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but I know about me, and there have been times when I have been broke, but I needed to buy something so for example let's say you just broke your phone you know you need your phone to get back and forth um to call people handle your business you went on a new job you went on people to call you but you have no money well you have a little money but you know that buying a new phone could be a large purchase right so in this video i will show you how to maneuver life when you just don't have the money to get what you need okay Pretty much with these apps that I'm going to talk about, you pretty much can pay later. Buy now, pay later. And when I heard it, I kind of was like, I don't know about that. It sounds a little sketchy. But y'all, a lot of stuff I will try out before I tell y'all about it because I just want to make sure that everything is right. So the first one that I will mention here is called Klarna. So with Klarna, if you are making a purchase, I think, um, well, when I when I use Klarna, I use it on Etsy. If you know, I have an Etsy store and I love Etsy. They give you the option to pay in four payments, right? Now with Etsy, I was able to pay in four payments. You put a down payment, let's say for, let's say for example, you have something that's $100. So you would pay up front $25. And then the $75 that's left, you would pay it every two weeks. It will outline your payment schedule, and you can use it at different stores like Sephora, H&M, GameStop, Foot Locker, Timberland, The North Face, Adidas, Shein, Macy's. Like, there are so many different stores where you can use this. And I wanted to talk about this because I usually come in contact with, you know, people that are... Um, on the lower income um, side of life, right? You know, some people I'm dealing with are like really young college students or, you know, some parents. And there comes times when the children need shoes. You just don't really have an extra $125 to buy shoes or, you know, you want a really good pair. You can buy shoes $10, $20 all day long, but at the same time, you know, they're not quality um, for the most part. And, you who will be buying a new pair soon. And trust me, I know I've worn shoes out of Dollar General. I've worn shoes out of Family Dollar. I've worn shoes out of Walmart. I've worn name brand shoes. So trust me, you know, don't come for me, y'all. But I know. Typically what happens is, you know, you may go to the store and then you look at your payment options. When you look at your payment options, after pay should be a payment option. You select that payment option and boom, you fill out a little bit of your information and then it will let you know like hey you put down this much and then shortly after you'll get an email that outlines your payment and when they're due so the next payment method i want to talk about is a firm so a firm i used this one with walmart i did buy a phone and i just wanted to see how it works so basically with a firm now you gonna need a little credit with this one now and the first thing you do you know you fill up your card choose how you want to pay and then make your easy payments right one two three but with a firm now they will check your credit so if you don't really have um good credit you know and this may be something that you need to consider but at the same time they do a soft pull so soft pulls usually don't you know hurt your credit they're a soft pull so that's something you can take advantage of and a firm is more so like a a loan so their payment periods can be short or long long term i think the most term of payments that i saw was 24. so for example um when i bought a phone i could have just paid for it outright but i'd have said hey you know let, let me see what a firm is about so the phone I got was like $250. So pretty much I paid $20 up front. And then I said, hey, let's pay $20 for 12 months. So that's how the payment is shortly after I got an email. And boom, 
<laughs> my phone is on the way. You know, however, you know, I will be paying it off soon because there are high interest rates. But I just wanted to see, you know, what these payment methods are about so I can let y'all know about my experiences. A firm does have some high interest rates, so I want you to be aware of that as well. Um, again, we sometimes are broke. Sometimes we're on a tight budget. I know Christmas is around the corner for some people, and some people, you know, say, hey, I won't, you know, have the money to get my children anything, or my child really needs this tablet for school, and we're on a tight budget. I mean, if that's your case, you know, take advantage of, the offer if you qualify but at the same time you know be aware that there are some high rates that come along with it but at the same time if you've been in a situation where hey my baby needs a laptop for school school you know got shut down again and you need to have a computer if you got to put twenty dollars down to get that computer here on friday and then you just wait till you get your next paycheck and pay that thing off you got to do what you got to do period and the last one that I'll talk about is going to be Afterpay. So Afterpay, pretty much, um, this is for like high-end, well, not, I'm not just going to say high-end stores, but um, some of these stores, y'all, you can buy stuff at Michael Kors, you can buy stuff at Dillard's, you can buy stuff at Coach, I think. So, you know, you just have to um, use pretty much you know what you have available sometimes sometimes you may not have three hundred dollars but hey it's your girlfriend's birthday coming up and you really want to get her something nice well hey if you want to you can say hey you know what let me use my afterpay account at dealers i'll go ahead and put 25 dollars down and then i'll pay um 75 dollars over the next few weeks and get her this nice perfume or whatever it may be you know sometimes we have to pretty much look at how we budget, how, how we using our money. And some of these, um, they do ask, you know, charge a little interest, some don't. Um, you'll just have to, you know, read the fine print yourself. Um, as I said, also do your own research. I just want to tell you about these payment options because I know sometimes it's hard. Um, I know. And also, you know, I have the referral links down below. So if you decide that you want to try any of these uh, payment options that I discussed today, please do not hesitate to go ahead and try it out. And once you do try it out, let me know how it goes, okay? Now, another thing. So I just wanted to go over, you know, some of the benefits. So one, it may pull your credit to assess your credit worthiness. Again, like I said, if you don't have good credit, hey, you know, it doesn't hurt to try for the most part. And a lot of people, me and my, well, not a lot of people, but me and one of my friends were talking and we were talking about, you know, how this, these um, different payment options are kind of allowing people to be able to afford life a little bit better now. You know, you can split your payments up in four and some people say, well, if you can't buy it all right, you don't need to buy it. Well, that's not everybody's case. And remember here on my channel, it's a judge-free zone, okay? People are working on credit. People are working on saving. And sometimes they want things that are beyond their budget at the time. But at the same time, they may want or need something. And if they can use payment options, why not? And then for pay can be an easier way to pay for something versus just putting something on a credit card right think about it think about it but hey if you want a credit card you're working on your credit i'll leave my capital one link down below as well and so going on to the next benefit there there are um payment plans right so your payments can be stretched out over two weeks i know some people get paid every week i know some people get paid every two weeks so for some people that can be beneficial it can kind of hit when you're getting paid so uh, the next thing is, you know, you pay a little upfront. Like I said, I just bought a phone and I could have just said, hey, let me just go ahead and swipe my card and just pay the whole 250, which is something I usually do because I don't like owing anybody. But at the same time, I was like, hmm, you know, let me see what a firm is about because I like doing different stuff so I can tell you all about it because I want to kind of change the approach with my channel a little bit, kind of help us overall. So I tried it out and like oh okay so i did the one year plan where i only pay like 20 something dollars a month for my phone it does have interest of course i'm going to pay it off i just want to see you know how everything goes 
All right, and the next benefit is that um, it will be connected to a debit card. So your cash app card is a no-no, but it want it will be um connected to a debit card. So to, to kind of you know go ahead and draft their payments when it's due. Now they will text you or email you to notify you and be like, hey, you got a payment due, you know soon. So that's a benefit as well to let you know like, hey, we gonna be drafting our money in a little bit. <laughs> But um, those are just three that I wanted to share with you all. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. If this video helped you, thumbs up. If it didn't, please let me know why not and what we can improve on. And just thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all. And if you are wondering why I use Julius from Everybody Hates Chris, that's one of my favorite shows. And Julius is always penny pinching, you know, trying to make... Um, the money that he has worked for them and he's always like you know that's 39 cent worth of mail that you got on that sandwich you better eat that so it's, it's so funny to me um you know it's one of my favorite shows so i just wanted to you know shed some light on you know how you get break some payments down and get what you need as well and it's be a little bit comical that's a good show to watch if you have not watched it check it out